Dang, all dingle dang. Uh. So, uh, jumping into game three, kind of showing up late. It's all good. Uh, but this is grand finals of doubles. Um, I mean, I, technically, you know, in some ways, the, it wasn't upset by uh, Aozora and Sub Zero King in winners. Um, they were definitely the top two teams. Um, Aozora and Sub Zero King just have unreal synergy. Um, I had to pick the better players. It would be the other way, but the team and team synergy means a whole lot. This is Brad. Um, yeah. So I think that the, I don't know. I think the double fox. I don't think they're gonna switch off that. I know they both have other characters, but there's no way they're gonna switch. 
I think they're just gonna look to stay away from the plunder, honestly. That seems to be what causes a lot of problems. I mean, it's a regular Fox player issue, or really anyone issue. Getting blended is uh, pretty tough. Yeah, okay. And that's a really good start for this team so far. Uh, looks like David is not practiced in his uh, bomber stalls. Surprisingly difficult strat, to be honest, for something that's banned. It's actually quite hard. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. I, I agree, my voice is uh, just lovely. Super Lolly, I think melee doubles, like, Luke will say it to, to anyone, melee doubles in Alberta, or in Canada in general, is just very lackluster. There's so much to be gained right now, there's so many people that just don't know how to play doubles, um, that it, it's it's too bad, because doubles is, uh, in my opinion, the finest art in Smash Brothers. Oh, and that was almost an amazing edge guard. <laughs> Edgar his own teammate. Is is PM doubles and AB good? Like who's good in uh, doubles? Because um, there's only like five good melee doubles players really, and a lot of them just are good singles players. Like Simon is an amazing doubles player, but that, other than that, not a whole lot going. Um, It's kind of, it, this match is, for how well it started out, I mean, it seems to be just both teams trading a lot. Oh my god, David. Oh, you missed it. David, no. Oh. Damn, David. David is getting rocked this stock. Yeah. The ben the stage is generally in doubles, just a cluster, and it, it's proving to continue to be a slobber knocker. And I, I expect this to be, I mean, Simon's really good at 2v1s. Oh, that'll help. But I still expect it just to be a simple, yeah. Oh, if that hadn't killed him, though, that he could have definitely made that back. Mary and Nick Diaz, Odds and Quaff. No, 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 no. No. Um... Like, Blue Zone is good at doubles. Um, I think Boss is pretty good at doubles. And James is very aware, but I don't think I would call him a doubles player. Um, like, it, it's not so much that the players are bad, it's just a doubles thing. Oh my god. Here comes more blending. Oh no. This is just a brutal start here. Simon's only taking 17%. Oh, Lord. I don't even have a great description. It's... You know when they had that radio show? Where they ended the world? And just nobody knew what to do? This is what that feels like. Watching two Fox get down smashed from like 0 to 70 twice in a row is just painful. <laughs> all right, all right. That was a really uncoordinated edge guard, but he gets the stock and he makes it back. Yeah, they're gonna. Steven, Simon's gonna hold onto this stock for a bit, I think. First thing, I don't actually think the stage is that good for them, but they just know how to play it. Like that, I think David's just super comfortable here. Oh, alright. Stock there. Uh, oh, messed up the edge guard, but David covered his back. And just, I mean, please watch. Please watch Simon and David. You'll notice that all the things they do are much simpler, but they just are there for each other way more often. Um, they do a lot more team combos. It, it's a lot more reminiscent of an Armada Android, uh, as opposed to. Uh, as opposed to a lot of, uh, you know, the double foxing where they're just overpowering them because they're good players. Oh my god. 
I want to see the damage totals at the end of this match. It's just unreal. If, if you could track a single move, I want to know how much down smash did. All right, if they can kill David here, then they're actually in a fine spot. That'll do it. And after this, uh, I suppose a lot of games will be setting up for singles on stream. But, uh... Ooh. Damn. You'll notice that, like, and I want people to watch this. Watch when, like, si Peach is between them, David's between them, and the two foxes are setting something up, and Simon's just jumping. He's not doing anything, he's just jumping. It's, it's actually... Um, really kind of neat because he's just trying to set up. Okay, now we got an, an even game, and this 2v1 opportunity could be pretty nice. Alright, never mind. Um, Simon would love people to get better with Sheik. He loves Sheik Dittos. Oh. Oh, that's a big deal. Holy shit. Uh, very even game. Suddenly, uh, one, one flub. And it looks like we might have ourselves a crack reset. You can't count him out though, because if he gets one fox off, I mean, then it's just a single stock. Oh, but that might be it. It's going to be very difficult for him to re recover here if they just grabbed the ledge, which they didn't. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, can he lock this out? I don't know which fox this is. But uh, it looks like it is. Ah, uh, Luke that he's fighting, okay. Oh. David has done this before. Oh, oh! He's not dead yet. Oh, I think that was a bad idea. Oh my god, the Phantom! Luke will be very upset if he doesn't win this match after that Phantom. Oh yeah, alright, alright, alright. So we have ourselves a reset, holy. I can't imagine how salty they would have been after that phantom if they hadn't won it. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Now back to delaying the bracket. <laughs> you know, just casual, no big D. Why is this table, like, sticky? Holy... Guys, if you're going to eat at the commentary desk, just don't. Like, fuck you. <laughs> don't make it things sticky, dude. Singles is going along nicely. It's just that Singles is waiting on every single one of these players at this point. Um, we're probably going to have to run a lot of it off stream. But we are just at winner's quarters. Um, not too big of a deal. Looks like Matt's running off to poop himself. Um, he, uh, you know, he needs to use the bathroom about every... 20 minutes and it's been about 19 since that set started so he's going to run off and get that done before starting the next set. Alright, everybody, everybody getting their flex on, just getting some water, relaxing. Uh... Victra is not Victa. They're two different players. RTS Victa is a Calgary-based player, whereas Victra is uh, a different player. Also note that this bracket is made after a set of pools. We had 81 entrants, and uh, it fed to a th top 32 bracket. Um, so don't... Uh, anyone who uh, is in that bracket didn't necessarily... Even if they went 0-2, they still won about four sets, or three, depending. Weird that they would agree to Dreamland here. Um, I mean, I know like almost every Fox player in the world is comfortable here, um, and they don't mind it against Sheik, but uh, it is, to me, a strange pick. Um, I wonder what was banned. Um, I imagine FD would have been picked by, uh, would have been kept by Simon and David. Uh, obviously, Pokestad would have been gone. Uh, 
Um, Yoshi's probably gone uh, from chosen by David and Simon, uh, which leaves Battlefield must have been striked by uh, Matt and Luke. Sorry, Alpha Kings and Quaff are Matt and Luke. Sub-Zero King and Arizura are Simon and David. Uh, sorry, I use a lot of people's names. I'm not supposed to, but uh, that's a habit. At least I've clarified who they are. Jumps, jumps right into his friend uh, Uppy. You know, they just want to be together. Foxes of a feather stick together or something like that. Ooh, double there. Ooh. Thank you. I appreciate it. Seems like, uh... Seems like whenever they're split up, they, uh, the foxes do better. And whenever they're together, the uh, peach sheep does better. And, I mean, that's not uncommon, but, uh... Definitely, you can see the strategies coming out between each of them trying to separate each other. Um, that's probably why we end up on a big stage, as they prefer. Peach would be okay with Dreamland, but uh, Fox is prefer space. <laughs> Bread is delicious, I agree. It's not good for you, though. Don't eat too much. I mean, humans have only been living off of, you know, bread and water and butter for, like, thousands of years. But don't get me wrong, it's the worst thing you can put in your body. So actually a solid, solid lead here for blue team. Oh, and never mind. Thrown again once, thrown away once again. Re very rare for Simon to flub this much, but, uh, I mean, this is a... This is a big, big event, so it's maybe he's feeling the nerves a little bit, or maybe he's just a little rusty. All right. So I have a feeling this is going to close out the match. Um, I mean, if anyone can do it, Luke definitely can, but uh, not, not expecting too much here. Yeah. All right. So game one goes to Sub Zero King and Aozor X. And bread isn't even actually um, a bread. It's a wheat product, but it's not uh, te technically classed as a bread. Um, just a heads up to that one. Um, either way. So they went to Pokemon Stadium here. Obviously, for the low ceiling, um, you'll find that it's really good for the foxes. Um, again, they're going to try to keep themselves separated here. Because um, they can fall, if, even, even from far away, they can follow up on each other. Um, definitely off to a really good start on Simon. Um, uh, also, I like I like how um, Alfkins and Quaff. Every time that Simon or David or, uh, separate and try to try to stall, they just run over to me when the other guy. Um, definitely something they have the advantage of speed over. Um, reason why Fox is you know as always the best of the game. Um, but what they might run into here, when it could always cause a problem. So you never know, the uh, Pokemon Stadium there is transformations. Uh, I would say the transformations definitely favor, uh, more of them favor Peach and Sheik. Uh, definitely because of the uneven territory. Um, I mean, the fact that grass makes you move uh, quicker, uh, which definitely is beneficial because they'll catch up in that speed difference. Uh, I mean, the rock, uh, the rock system here uh, actually gives Pe uh, Peach a 20% damage increase, which is a big help against Foxes and Doubles here. Uh, won't do too much right now because they're already at high percents, but definitely is useful uh, it, at, at most points in the game. So a bit of a lead for Red Team, um, not insurmountable by any means, um, but it's it's what they are looking for. Um, interesting to see uh, off the off the last set how close it was that there wasn't any uh, any real uh, no, there wasn't going to be a sweep. A lot of times players come out of it and just aren't as motivated as the ones who just won the first set, but uh, looking pretty strong here. Ooh. 
really, uh, this this whole set seems to just come down to who currently has center stage. It's just whenever they're separated uh, from their teammate, both of them are just getting absolutely like just knuckled over. Fire transformation, obviously good for red team. Um, <laughs> uh, fire, you know, fire adding to red team's defense. Um, you know, makes makes their stocks uh, actually value less valuable, but it makes them have higher defense, so each one lasts a little bit longer. You notice that if a uh, if a red team player were to lose a stock on the fire transformation, they would actually lose about a fifth of the face of the next stock. And if they were to, if you were to play ten or twenty stock and lose a lot of stocks on the fire transformation, it may actually affect your game. All right, so off to battlefield, Neutralville. Um, nothing too significant about the stage on either side. Um, I mean, battlefield definitely can affect uh, all players with the ledge. Um, some of these players might uh, have, have seen Goatsy on the internet before um, and might be a little bit distracted by the Goatsy in the core uh, of the stage, but that doesn't necessarily uh, apply to all of them. I know Matt's a uh, younger player. He might not necessarily know what Goatsy is. Um, he might just think it's you know two hands holding a ball or something. I, I'm not sure. Uh, yes. Um, it is 1-1 one, one right now. I don't know why it's not uh, labeled as such. Uh, I blame Phil. Um, that, I don't necessarily agree with either of those, but definitely depends on the game. Uh, Shade in Blue Zone is probably the best movement in PM, but it's also like, it makes a lot of combo videos, and combo videos don't necessarily express the player in the game. I think Com uh, Shaden is definitely up there, but I don't know if he is the number one in that department. In Melee, I definitely don't agree that it's Simon. Simon is the best Sheik movement for sure. I think he's probably top five for movement, but I don't think he's number one. There is some crazy stuff. If you watch uh, Matt play Marth in singles, it's way up there. Uh, Simon being uh, Sub-Zero King. Anyways, this uh, this match again dead dead even. Uh, as you'll notice, Neutralville doesn't really. We're not getting much out of out of uh, any team advantage here. Ooh, nice edge guard uh, by Azor X there. Oh, and he tries to save him, and I think that's actually gonna kill him. Yeah, yeah, that needle. Oh, nice edge hog. Last few stocks taken were all just kind of like taking people off on their mistakes. Um, I wonder if it's going to cause any players to play a little bit more safe. Ooh, nice needles. Double back air. All right, that's dead. Now it's four stocks to one. Uh, definitely, I, I believe, fully believe he could take two of these stocks, but I think any more in a 2v1 scenario is going to be really tough. Every single kill he's gonna get punished for, and wow, just the tech, the tech chasing from, uh, I mean, not much of a chase, but tech chasing regardless by uh, Simon there. Really quite good, and of course, the battlefield coming into effect at the end. Yeah, Shaden is definitely an all around player. It's, it's, it, you can't uh, knock his abilities with the entire cast. Uh, in an all star tournament, uh, he would definitely be a top, top contender. Uh, maybe even maybe even outside of Alberta. Yeah, he'd do quite well. Um, both teams opting to down smash a lot. It's, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, hitting his teammate there. Uh, down smash, a very good move. Uh, uh, you can generally tell if a character is good if they have a solid down smash. And then you work from there to see if they're much better. Um, you'll note that like Ganon has a kind of good down smash, and he's a kind of good character. Um, Yoshi has uh, a great down smash with one real flaw, and that would be Yoshi. He's a character with mostly flaws and one good uh, benefit in parry um, and the armor. Yeah, we're definitely uh, holding up singles quite a bit, but that's fine. We, you know, we're not doing that bad for time. And uh, 
I mean, as much as I want this to finish, you can't really not want a game five here. Dude. These games have been so close. I don't think any one team deserves to win it uh, over the other in every scenario. Uh, they definitely deserve the top two seeds. Uh, I'm not sure what the first set went to, but they they definitely have played over ten games uh, together so far. They might um, they might even be as close to uh, fifteen matches as uh, as possible. Uh, am I gonna beat uh, Alphagans? Most likely not. Maybe. Uh, you never know. Hopefully. Uh, it's happened before, but it does not happen often. I would not say that I, I am in any way better than him. Uh, the game, oh, holding up a game as in, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, this time I'm not running it, so it's not my fault. I mean, I'm helping, but it's not my fault. Ooh. Well, this is certainly looking, um, quite bad for red team. It's doable, but it, uh, is going to be difficult. Ooh, my B definitely, um... About as good as it'll get. If he gets uh, a good shine spike here, that actually is more than possible. But uh, a mountain to climb. Oh yeah, that'll do it. And that is Grand Finals Smash Chronicles 4 doubles going to Aozara X and Sub Zero King. Um, definitely a worthy adversary in uh, Alphakins and Quaff. Um, I mean, showing the team synergy definitely uh, will mean a lot more than just being uh, being good at the game, I guess. Um, I mean, Quaff and Alphacan's first and third seed to this event. Um, definitely, definitely the favorites for singles.